story is chapter 32, uh, 33. A good wife, a bad wife, paying attention to feelings. A man working in an office was shocked when B, a colleague he secretly looked down on, received a promotion ahead of him. When he ran into B, he clapped him on the shoulder and offered hearty congratulations, swallowing his disappointment and forcing himself to act as if nothing was wrong. All those who had been passed over got together after work to celebrate B's promotion as if it were the most natural thing in the world. None of them wanted the rest to know how keenly they felt the blow. A man dares not acknowledge humiliation even to himself, but holds his emotion in check. There is something said about the price exacted by the male ego. Run out after the party, the man faced yet a steeper hurdle. When he came home, his wife was waiting for him. Out oh, drinking again, I see. Yes, B got a promotion today. And you gave a party in his honor? The man's wife pressed him for details. Then she exclaimed, you're awfully calm for someone who was skipped over for a promotion. We can't all be promoted at once. Somebody's got to be first. Then it should have been you. No, be's the man for the job. Anyway, I think I'll take a bath and hit the hay. You don't have an ounce of pride, do you? The woman had no inkling of her husband's hidden pain, of the effort it cost him to feign indifference to the snub, nor did she make any attempt to put, him, put herself in his shoes. A wise wife would have understood without being told and let the matter drop. A bad wife fails to catch on to her husband's true feelings in such a case, and needles him unmercifully. No wife should trample her husband's feelings underfoot. Um, I think uh, the author must have the similar experience in the past, and he must have suffered a lot. And the author happens to be a Japanese, so I think it is written from a Japanese cultural background. Um, and it, I think it was also, we need to also pay attention that it was written many decades ago when uh, the value system was very different from that of today. So at that time, yeah, I think Japan was like a feudal, feudal era, so to speak. So women used to be uh, homemakers and men were the breadwinner in majority households. So that was the background this story was written. And uh, the teaching of Buddhism behind this story is first, uh, two individuals uh, live in completely different worlds because our karma makes the world and we live in that world. So no two individuals can understand each other so deeply. <clears throat> That's why um, even between couples, it's almost impossible to understand each other very deeply. Even though, to, uh, though the wife and the husband have spent uh, one or two decades already together under the same roof, it's still very, very difficult or next to impossible to understand each other's feeling. But 
as a basic principle um, practice for for us uh, our daily practice should be uh, pay more attention to to other person's emotion not uh, just carry out our conversation following our logic in this story the wife happens to just uh, you know follow the logic uh, the log her logic is her husband should be the one who got who gets the promotion first and uh, <coughs> uh, yeah that's <laughs> logic if if the wife can pay attention to husband's feeling uh, maybe she could have understood that husband is deeply hurt and uh, deeply uh, saddened or disappointed and uh, feeling jealousy. Oh, it's going to be <laughs> today. We have a advanced session, so yeah, I cannot talk too long. So, yeah, we, the message from this story is uh, we should always pay attention to other person's emotion, not just uh, logic. Uh, and then we can improve our human relationship more and more. Okay, that's the one message from today's story. Good job, everyone. Uh, we have an advanced group session.